welcome back to the political discussion. We were talking about the constitution and con uh, constitutionalism, yes. about the checks and balances, and we spoke about the pure mandate of the president. And Charles also elaborated on how um, the, 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 the system works in terms of individual um, separation, of, separation powers. of powers and rule of law and all these different, different sort of um, determinants. So Charles, um, I just want to ask you this question. That apart from the Constitution, what are some of the other factors that will help the Constitution to work mm -hmm. as a great mechanism? Great, great. Mm. Thank you, uh, Mr. Eric Kukudongo, for having me again. Um, yes, so once you have a good foundation, which is the Constitution, then there are things that we as a people we need to we need to have them within us so for example i remember you know when i was very young i remember you know eight nine you know there about when rollins was a tndc government rollins was the one that first started talking about accountability so becoming accountable in public office it's very important. Yeah. So when you go into public office, it is a responsible position mm -hmm. that you've walked into to lead the nation, to, to support in the, in the leading of the nation. And so accountability, everything that you are doing has to be made accountable. accountable. So for example, when you come into the office, when you take over the office, the transition team needs to tell you, this is where we are, say for the nation, these are the resources we have. This is our foreign reserves. This, these are properties that Ghana has got overseas, maybe in the UK and in America or wherever. And you know, this is what we've got in the purse. Yep. And you're going to work with it. Any office you take over, say if you're working in the Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Agriculture, whatever position that you are placed as a minister, when you take that office, you've got to be accountable. So that is accountability. When we have this thing within us, and it has to be, uh, I would say, amongst all Ghanaians, yeah. because even the smallest, the smallest things that we are doing, we have to be made accountable. But the truth of the matter is that accountability isn't working at all, because there is no um, checks and balances in the system. Yes. If anyone commits an offence or money embezzlement and all these things. The rule of law doesn't yes. come back and hit them. Yes. So they get away with it. Yes. So how can accountability, you know, um, thrive when there is no rule of law? The, the structures are not in the place. The structures are not in place. So because if if you take this from the government, that is for the government, you shouldn't and take you it take it personal. home as your personal item or your personal property. Then you should be made accountable. You should be made accountable. Yes. So we have seen over the years that they, they, they've been mentioning they've been it's just a talk, lip service. Yes. Lip service it to whatever to they say. It needs to be practiced, it needs to be put in practice. In perspective, yes. In perspective. So for example, if we if we are to use a, a system of accountability, so for example, we will talk about maybe the most recent issues that were going on in Ghana. Say yeah. the security chief, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Kandapa. When there was, can you uh, mention that again, uh, Mr. Mister Kandapa? Mm -hmm. When obviously there were allegations about this uh, slave queen story, mm -hmm. and you know you are in a position, high you, you power are, position. Exactly, yeah. you are the security chief. Chief, that is not a small. This position is a at this all. is a serious position. It's a high. Uh, not only in Ghana, but mm -hmm. on the international stage, yeah. mm -hmm. you know it is such a high position that needs to be High taken profile position, position yeah. that needs to be taken very very seriously yeah. so for example if the personal activities mm -hmm. of this minister uh, of security mm -hmm. it comes to the fore then not only is it bringing humiliation personal humiliation to himself mm -hmm. but it brings it to his family it brings it to the constituency that he represents and also to the entire nation mm -hmm. you would and even internationally so you've got to be an accountable uh, minister and say i've resigned so in his position what were you expecting him to do it is it, to resign 
it's, so basically when you resign mm -hmm. that means that you have been you are being accountable and because, responsible and responsible because you are basically looking at the situation and thinking this is not good for myself and it's not good for the nation so I'm not even going to wait. Okay, so in that um, situation, if that person in power, in authority, in that position is not ready to resign, what can the government or the party or the, the cabinet do to ensure that there's some kind of checks and balances? In, in effect, if your constitution, as we were saying, is a, a system of constitutionalism where there are checks and balances, then it would have been a, a breach of the code of conduct. Okay. There would have been a, a, a breach of the code, code. of ethics, uh, uh, ethics uh, uh, and yes, conduct, conduct okay. uh, you know, mm -hmm. and therefore mm -hmm. he would have had to face the court. Okay, you know, uh, charges, you know, will be brought uh, to him. Uh, of course, they will mm -hmm. carry out an investigation to ascertain the validity mm -hmm. of what was being said, mm -hmm. and then evidence will be put forward, and this will be done by the state prosecutor. But are you not sure? You see, that it will be done by the state. The investigation was done, and then maybe it proved that he hasn't done anything wrong um that I, is why he didn't resign don't you think so or do you uh, think nothing was done because we don't have the evidence right no now? no no the the, mm. the the problem is that now because of photo this is why in the western world there are cameras everywhere right so something that social is done, media correct something that is done on camera it's very very difficult to you know when you present it in court you are actually there physically it's, it's doing very strong evidence doing yeah. it so you could there isn't any way to get out of it right and even 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 if there is a smoke screen but the, the pointers are not very good it is still a responsible thing to do and an accountable thing to do as a minister in order not to bring disrepute and respect to the office of the president are you with me? Yeah. You do this. Mm -hmm. So this is this is the way that you, you, you do, you know. And also, we need to have a system of transparency. So anything that we are doing, it has to be, anything that concerns the nation has to be within the public domain or information that is available. So for example, if a government engages in a contract, mm -hmm. say maybe they take a big loan to do some project, mm -hmm. you need to tag that loan. So you need to say, what is the source of the loan, mm -hmm. right? Who negotiated the loan? Obviously, the chief who negotiated that loan. What is the cost of the loan, the interest? How does that loan benefit that nation mm -hmm. in the long term? And how is the loan going to be financed? Is it, you know, is that loan going to be invested in something that is, for example, I'll make an example with, say, the Akosombo Dam, mm -hmm. where Nkrumah at all costs got it for Ghana because he knew that it will bring that electricity and it will actually pay for itself, even though Ghana had sufficient money mm -hmm. to actually pay for that loan themselves. We could have had the Akosombo dam built from our own money. Talking about the loan, UK has given us, um, is it 13 million? I'm not quite sure about is the it, Is it the 92 13, million to build 90, the, yeah, um, 92 million to build to the Tema Aflao road? Good, 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 good. So, in that case, there should be people that will be very accountable it, for it, that. It needs to be tagged. Money. So every every deal mm -hmm. needs to be tagged, and yeah. it has to be public information. Yeah. Are you with? What interest are we paying on it? Yeah. How is it benefiting the people? Mm -hmm. How is it going to be refinanced? Yes. Obviously, how is it going to be financed? Mm -hmm. You know, the government that took that loan will be gone. Mm -hmm. Ghana will be paying for it. Yeah. And also, also, that loan that is being used for the project, mm -hmm. is it the correct value? Okay. So sometimes we just have, oh, Ghana has got blah, blah, blah from uh, a UK source to build this, mm -hmm. 92 billion. So my question to you is that you use nine, all that 92 billion just to build for, the, for that road. from yeah. just 166 kilometers, you are using 92 is billion. Is it value for the money? Is it value for money? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all these things has to be tagged and it has to be public information because it is the national, it's coming, it, well, basically it's a national coffers. National yeah. Yeah. The, the nation is going to be paying for it. So it has to be open. And these are the systems when we have in place, mm -hmm. it is going to ensure yeah. that all this corruption and all these things will be sort of either reduced or limited. Mm -hmm. Then you're looking at the transition whereby you cannot stop a project that, they, uh, let's say, the the government that 
just left power. Why why does it uh, go on like that in Ghana? Because uh, I know of so many um stop start stop, stop start stop, stop start, start projects know? and then people blame yeah, because this was all blaming about the one. news that Mahama built some hospitals some hospitals and it was and not completed. It was not completed and it's mm -hmm. still there and they don't want to complete. Why can't they complete? Why can't there be continuity of mm -hmm. projects and <laughs> It, 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 it's, it's quite it is you know, interesting but it's, it's for the community you know yes. it's for the people of ghana the, the ordinary you know ghanian correct so there is something very interesting that you're probably going to be discovering mm -hmm. is the accountability mm -hmm. so i'll give you a scenario mm -hmm. so let's say uh, i take on a contract to build a hospital under ndc they fully paid me right mm -hmm. whatever the cost them was have been fully paid yep. so potentially that hospital should be completed mm -hmm. but then what is actually happening now is that the hospital the money has been taken that the hospital should have been completed but the hospital is incomplete mm -hmm. and so you can see how when the next person takes power that, that frustration to go and complete a job that is supposed to have been completed mm -hmm. And the money has been taken by the project. So it comes so back to the system. Accountability. No, it comes back to accountability. Mm -hmm. Because when they took the money, as I said, that project should be tagged. Every project should be tagged. Who negotiated it? Mm -hmm. How much is, How much value? Is it value for money? Is it completed? Have we completed? So Ghanaians need to wake up. And let's stop our partisan politics. That sometimes if I'm in NPP, and everything MPP is doing, I say, yeah, 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 M MPP is great. That's what or I'm saying. If it's there NBC, be, there should be independent bodies that are non-partisan, yes. that take care of business. Yes. So that if a party goes away or is voted out, mm -hmm. there is still that mechanism or that machinery that is working for the country. That's right. And, and, even, the party. and even the people themselves, you know, we the people, we the people that are maybe partisan, we should also be asking, we need to keep our eyes open because at the end of the day, we want that nation to grow. Mm -hmm. We want the people's uh, living to get better. Yeah. And so we, that we are saying, I'm NDCA, my party is in power. I'm happy with everything they are doing. They have to be asking no, you questions. You guys be asking the question that mm -hmm. if you take $92 billion, are you using 90, all this $92 billion that's, to build? That's what I'm saying, that apart from the accountability, as you said, it still boils down to the systems and structures. Because if everything is put in, when you have a good constitution, in place, then the all analysis. the machinery are working harmoniously to bring every project to close. Correct. So that there will be continuity as well. Because if there are no systems and structures in place, if there's accountability, mm -hmm. it wouldn't work. But if all the machinery are working, are synchronized, are synced together, then and they are working, then it means everything is going to fall into place. Work. Yes. So my next question is, what, 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 what if you are going to use SMART to sort of assess uh, how the ex-presidents and the you know our presidents how well they've done with time in terms of our development, economic development, you know all this social development. What what would you say about all that? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Eric Okudonko. That is very interesting. So as you were talking about time, time it being smart, yeah. as in it being specific yeah. in terms of whatever project it is that the yeah. party, the government is coming to do, mm -hmm. it being measurable, mm -hmm. to be able to measure. Uh, we will continue from where we left off in the next series. So watch out for the next series. Please subscribe like and then comment thank you for watching Good.